Hey you guys, what is up? It is your girl Sydney. I don't know why I said that. Um, we're gonna be talking about my real self, which is something that I don't talk about a lot. So roll the clip. <laughs> So, something that I do really, really often, like every single day, is I try to be someone I'm not. Which I don't know why, because I'm pretty awesome when I do come out and be myself. I don't, I don't know why I do it. Um, I've done it since I was a little kid. I do it now, and I'm really, really getting tired of it. Because... I'm not going to get real friends, and I'm not going to get a relationship, and I'm not going to be able to do the things I want if I'm not being myself. And so, that is what today is. Today is me exposing my real self. So, one thing that uh, happens a lot is I stutter on my words, I can't form complete sentences, I don't know how to say things right, um, and that comes with my anxiety and depression. So everything in my head gets all mushed up and everything, and I, I don't know how to communicate. I can say something, but I can mean a different thing. But I don't know how to communicate that I mean something, or I mean that other thing. Yeah. I. I don't know how to explain and express myself the way I want to because I've been in this box where I want to be someone I'm not so long that I try to do, like I'm a people pleaser. I try to do what someone would want me to do, not what I would want me to do. And I think that's something that I need to start working on because I want to do a lot of things, but I can't because I want to either please my friends or please my mom or and basically please everyone but myself and I think that's completely wrong because I should be pleasing myself because I'm with me 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, you know what I mean. I'm with myself all the time so I should be the one, I should be pleasing me. This is who I should be pleasing. And so... I think I need to start doing that and so I'm going to talk about some things that I really like. So I really like doing YouTube. It's something that inspires me a lot because you can have this huge platform and you can have people watching your videos and you can just inspire people and that's something I really really want to do is inspire people. And I hope that I get to do that in the future or I am inspiring you right now. So that's one of the things I really love to do. And another another thing that I love to do is drawing. I loved to draw. I love art. And um, I let a lot of people influence me on that too. Um, my, I think, ninth, eighth or ninth grade teacher, I drew these amazing angel wings. And she was like, nope, you have to add more detail. But I spent like 40 hours drawing these to perfection. It looked like I traced it, but I didn't. And I thought I did a really good job. And ever since then, I've been like, wow, I have to add more detail. I have to perfect these things. Like, I have to go in on my art. And it just made me not like art anymore, which is so sad. And another thing that I really love to do, and I've actually just gotten back into it, is uh, photography. I really love taking pictures. And um, I'll add some of my uh, pictures right here, but I really want to get back into photography. And I kind of started. Um, I went and uh, took pictures of the junior and uh, cheer team, the junior boys and girls basketball team plus the cheerleading team at Lillian Osborne in Edmonton and honestly that was so much fun because I got to learn so much. I also got to hang out with a reporter in Beaumont which is so cool 
and you know I'm getting all of these opportunities because it's something I love and something I'm passionate about and I'm finding out that other people are passionate about it too and it's the coolest thing ever and I just I want to go places with photography and film anyone that knows me knows that lately I have been wanting to get into film really really badly I want to go to um, Cochrane, Alberta, and um, there's a hill there. I've been, I've had this plan in my head for like a week now, and I just need like a driver and I need a drone, and like I gotta like save up some money, plan for this stuff. But like I have like these visions in my mind, and I really, really want to do them. But the thing is, is I need more practice and. One thing that sucks is I only have one friend in St. Albert. And, you know, I'm like, hey, your boyfriend is a SoundCloud rapper. Like, let me shoot a video. Let me just practice some things with him. Like, I'll, serious, I'll do it for free. And that's, like, a huge opportunity for me and for him. Because if I do really good, that gives me um, some good, you know, publicity and that gives him some good publicity and people might like watch both of us or listen to him watch me whatever but like I don't I don't think she's like talked to him about it and it sucks because it's something I'm so passionate in and the people around me aren't as passionate about it as me and like I just want to go and start filming everything and putting it into short films, documentaries, music videos, you know, movies, anything. Like, I just want to get into it, but, like, I don't have the people around me to help me with that stuff. Because I, I try to say, like, hey, I'll take some pictures of your boyfriend so he can have some, you know, pictures for his SoundCloud music and all of that stuff. Or I'll take a music video of him, we can, like, try some cool things. Nothing. And then the rest of my friends are in, like, out of province, basically. Like, two of them are in uh, the U.S. and one of them's in, you know, Manitoba. And it sucks. It really does suck. Because I love my friends to death, but I either can't hang out with them or I'm not, like, on the same level. And it sucks because, you know, I... I love music as well and I love photography and film and you know it's something I'm so passionate about and I know I just have to find the right people but you know I have social anxiety so I can't like just go up to people and just start a conversation with them like frick I'm so gay that every time I look at a girl I gay panic like it's bad because this is me but I'm trying to hide me so that I can get people to like me but I can't hide who I am and get people to like me and then me expect to like them back if that makes any sense whatsoever and like I'm trying to figure out who I am and that's the scariest part and uh, yeah and that's what I do is I like I'm super passionate about something and I'm telling something about me or something I'm very like like I love or I'm passionate about or like I'm just speaking from my heart and then I get nervous and I'm like yeah but I, I don't know like I need to stop doing that I really need to stop doing that like I just want I just want someone to back me up or something like I have all the support from my mom from my like friends like my friend in California she's the best she um actually asked me about a uh, music person and like I wanted uh, I wanted some music and she talked to that person and the person was like yeah totally I am totally down for it and it's like I'm like I'm barely talking to people and I'm getting like small little things what would happen if I actually stepped out of my comfort zone and started talking to people like holy do you know how much like anything would happen like ugh. again I'm getting so excited that my brain just can't keep up with my mouth and oh man I'm just like super excited but that's that's me is 
when I get it when I get excited or too excited I can't form a good great awesome sentence because I like it doesn't it doesn't sync up it just doesn't sync up <laughs> but it, it's something it's something I could talk about for hours is photography filming music YouTube like I'm just so excited and I hope that uh, I hope that this like helps me a little bit because I want to get back to my real self the one that's not trying to jump onto the bandwagon of the trends or the ones that are I'm not trying to be like someone I'm not because my teeth I can't like I can change my teeth but I just don't have the money to and you know I've been with these for 20 years it's something I should grow to love my eyebrows they're not as thick as a regular eyebrow or whatever but I can't change that and I shouldn't have to like all my acne like I know some people have it worse than me and it's not gross it's normal and it should be normalized and yeah I guess that's just me talking for 17 minutes straight <laughs> um, that's it really uh, if I if you like this video and you want me to talk more freely and without a filter basically um, comment uh, leave a like and uh, yeah Thank you for watching. I doubt anyone will watch this the end, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I love you. Be your truest and realest self. Bye.